everyone, and welcome to Bluegrass Planet Radio. I'm your host, DJ Delta Dawn. So glad to be here with you on your Monday evening. And I want to welcome everyone to our show tonight. If you're brand new to our program, welcome aboard. We're glad to have you here. Thank you so much for giving us a listen. And uh, we are waiting for our guest to call in this evening. And while we are waiting, I want to go ahead and give you a little background on him. He makes his home in my home state of um, North Carolina. He hails from Seagrove, NC, and um, he has been a master of the guitar and from a young age and has dominated local and national guitar competitions and played with regional bands including the Pizza Hut Showdowns winner Southern Drive, and he has played on the professional level and recorded numerous albums with bluegrass band favorite Lou Reed in Carolina and Larry Stevenson, and in 2010, he played the guitar and added his dynamic vocals to the IBMA Recorded Event of the Year, Give This Message to Your Heart. And he has now stepped out on his own to form his his own band and is showing his outstanding musical leadership abilities and that he is more than a sideman. And his band, Kevin Richardson and Cutting Edge, is made up of four guys who have fun on and off the stage. Their tight harmonies, tasteful instrumental work, and pure enjoyment of performing on stage shine through at every show. And um, as we are waiting for him to call in, I want to go ahead and play a song that is their latest release that has been been promoted for quite some time now. And... Um, and it's always a, a great um, a great song. I love, every time I hear it, I just love the song more and more. And it has gotten a lot of great positive feedback and reviews from the Bluegrass community. So without further ado, I want to play their latest release. It's called He Better Run. <laughs> And my brother, he lay at his feet. Why he killed him, I do not know. But when I find out, whoa, whoa, whoa. Once Stevie off that 
Kevin Richardson and Cutting Edge, and he better run. And on the line with us now, I would love to say hello to Kevin Richardson. Hello. Hey, Dawn. How's everybody doing? Oh, doing great. How are you this evening? I'm doing good. I didn't know if I was uh, was on the right line or not. Yes, I was playing the song, and I realized, oop, I didn't have I didn't have any other calls muted. So I heard you, and I said, oh, he's called in. Um, so it is so good to have you here with us this evening. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time. Oh, yes, it's it's always great to talk to you folks. Well, thank you. Um, well, I was uh, giving a little bit of a, a background intro on you before um, I uh, – before I played the song, before you called in, and I must tell you, you have had personally, you have had quite the success um, in bluegrass music since you started at a young age. My gosh, it just seems like success has followed you all over the map. Yeah, I've I, I've got really lucky. I've been blessed. Uh, I started my career well. Actually, I started when I was at at the age of five, and uh, I played off off and on, and and they. Uh, in or out of a band, and I actually got on the tour about probably probably 12 years ago. I started with the Shankman Twins. I don't know if anybody uh, remembers them or not. Uh, they were out of California. I started my career with them and uh, played with them about a couple of years, and then uh, I had I had the luxury of actually... Uh, getting in a band with a bunch of my friends, uh, at the time, there was a contest uh, they used to have around home here, and um, it was called uh, the Pizza Hut International Showdown, mm-hmm. and I and I did that with a couple of my friends, Ashby Frank uh, being one of them, and uh, we actually won that, and, and the name of that band uh, was uh, Southern Drive, and then uh, I met up with Lou Reed in a jam session, and uh, I got to work with the great Lou Reed for off and on for about six years. And then uh, I left Lou, and I went and worked with the great uh, Larry Larry Stevenson band uh, for about four years. And uh, I've always wanted to do my own thing. I try to write my own music, and uh, I'm not getting any younger, so uh, I finally made a step to doing my own thing, and, and uh, here I am. Oh, well, I tell you, and as they say, the rest is history, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, well, that's exactly right. You know, I've been a longtime fan of Lou Reed in Carolina and also Larry Stevenson, and, and even yeah. Southern Drive. I remember Southern Drive, actually. So being a North Carolina oh, wow. girl, it's, it's hard not to miss a lot of the great bands around, local talent, especially in our yeah. part of the world, you know. And, uh, yeah. man, I remember when, when you got signed on with Lou and company, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I knew then that, that things were going to start happening for you big time, as if they hadn't already. But, I mean, that just kind of – you know, up things a notch or two for you. I mean, it really kind of escalated you and and kind of prepared you for where you are now with, you know, with your band. And and talk a little bit about your band because how did that kind of all form? I mean, I know aside from the fact that you wanted to do your own solo thing and form your own band, um, how did you come up with the guys that are in the band? I mean, how did that all gel together? Yeah, uh, actually, I mean, you know, um, I was playing with uh, Larry Stevenson band at the time, and you know I was just trying to find something on our off dates that I could put together a little band and and uh, it kind of formed into being what I have today. But all the guys that I've got in the band, I mean, we've known each other for years, and uh, we all met uh, in about you know. Uh, all the music and stuff like that. We've always had a relationship, you know, together. And Mm -hmm. 
and we actually met, and uh, I put the band together just to have a band to do stuff on the side, and then uh, the more I I thought about it, I was like, you know, well, I've always wanted to do my own thing, so I got the guys together, and I said, hey, this is what I want to do, and uh, I'm looking to make the actual jump, uh, you guys want to do it, and, and I got I got very blessed. They all said yes. <laughs> you know, that that's half the battle won if you get them all agreeing to do it, you know. But, uh, right. Well, and, and, you know, the neat thing that I love about bluegrass music is that there's so much camaraderie in this in this genre because, you know, so many of the artists will play on other artists' records and recordings, and, and there's yeah. so much of, of the general play, you know, where you're out and about and you just get together and have a jam session, and through that, some great collaborations are made. I mean, and uh, I think putting together a bluegrass band and finding people that want to play is probably easier than in any other genre of music because there's such a common – you know, commonality among musicians that just really want to get out there and make good music. Would you agree? Right. I do. I, I absolutely agree. Uh, but then on the same side, you know, you got to find the right, uh, you know, I could find any kind of bass player uh, that could, they could probably play my music. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I couldn't find a bass player like a guy that could actually play my music and be uh, like a, uh, like a songwriter too, or oh yeah, even like you know, like a good singer also. Mhm, mhm. Yeah, I do agree. Oh yeah, and and you know that's another thing is I've noticed like when I go to festivals and stuff, and it's just another thing I love about bluegrass music is that you know you go see your favorite you know artists and bands performing and then they come off stage and they mingle with the crowd and the fans and you know they have their you know their tables set up and and they're just there to the very last fan is you know greeted and I just love that because you would not find that in any other you don't find that in any other kind of music and why do you think that bluegrass music is is so special for fans and artists alike uh, I mean, you know, it's it's real music, number one, and it's, I mean, you know, it's, I've always thought, you know, we're all one big family, and that's how I grew up in it. I mean, you know, when I was a little kid, my mom and dad, you know, they used to drag me around to all these bluegrass festivals, and, and I never met a stranger, and I always felt as a kid when I was growing up, it almost felt like I was going to go to my grandma's house or something because I knew everybody yeah. there. And that's what it is to me. I mean, you know, you never meet a stranger, and we're all just a big family, and that's how mm-hmm. I look at it. Yeah, and, and you know, on a side note, I had the privilege of interviewing Sweet Potato Pie recently, and I was talking with your wife. Okay, and, and And one of the things that I think is so neat, I mean, you and she both are – professional bluegrass artist. I mean, you're in successful bands. You've had equally your share of success. And how do the two of you balance it? Because she's on the road, you're on the road. I mean, how do you all, how do you balance it in both of you having careers in music? Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, well, it, it just seems to work out. I mean, you know, uh, our schedules work out really good. Uh, usually, how things work out. When I'm home, she's gone, and then when she's home, I'm gone. So there's no area in there. But you know, we do have our time at home. Uh, we have a lot of time during the week. Uh, I like with my band. I try not to book uh, the whole bunch. You know, we're home during the week, so we got all week together. And you know, there's sometimes we're home during the weekend, but it is a challenge because we have kids and stuff like that, and. Uh, you know, there's times where I've gone and 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 she's made plans and and uh, I wish I could be there, but I can't. Mm-hmm. And you know, there's times where I'm home and and I wish she could be here, but she can't. But we have right. we have an agreement. I mean, we both got married, and we both know, you know, hey, he plays a ba- uh, he plays guitar, I play banjo, mm-hmm. <laughs> and we have a hundred percent each other's back and. Uh, we just want the best for each other. Oh, that's so it awesome. works out pretty good. That is so awesome, Kevin. And yes. do you do you and Crystal are you ever gonna like collaborate on your own like little solo project together, duet together? Um, you know, maybe put out a recording at some point. 
Uh, yeah, we've talked about that. Uh, we just come off a cruise. Uh, we played a cruise, and my banjo player couldn't go, so I kind of hired my wife to play banjo <laughs> with us. And oh, how convenient! That worked out yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it actually worked out really, really good. And we had a lot of people asking the same kind of questions, and uh, mm-hmm. and you know, me and my wife have talked about that. Uh, we don't want to push the issue. Uh, we yeah. both want her band to do good and my band to do good. And you know, in our business, it's it's hard. There's so many bands going on right now, but uh, we have talked about that. Uh, I don't know when it may happen, but we have have talked about you know doing like a duet album. Mhm, mhm. That would be really cool. And I'm sure she didn't mind being the fill-in banjo player in your band on the cruise. I mean, you know, I don't know too many women that would turn down the opportunity to go on a cruise, you know, so that's, <laughs> she really she really won on that deal. Um, well, speaking of music, um, I know when we spoke last on the phone, you you yeah. were talking about you and your band were going to be releasing some new music this year, and how is, how is that coming? It's coming along. Uh, we plan, I don't have anything yet, uh, I plan to release something hopefully by uh, probably March or April, and uh, we're fixing to go back in the studio. We took a little time off to uh, revamp. Uh, our last record has been really good for us, and all the people at Mountain Fever Records, they're just, uh, you know, 100%. They're they are all great people, and uh, I didn't want to rush anything. But at the same time, I wanted to get something out, too. Mm-hmm. But we're planning to have something out, hopefully at the latest by April. And um, I've written uh, about probably three or four songs. Is, uh, uh, what we're going to do first probably put out like a single. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, we'll just see how it goes from there. <laughs> Well, that'll be all right because we will be excited and anxiously waiting for that. I mean, if if your stuff that you've released previously, if that's any indication of what the new stuff's going to be like, oh, I know we're in for a real treat, and I cannot hardly wait. Oh, <laughs> I love your you. music. I love your sound. And uh, as I was saying uh, before you called in, I, I just love, you know, He Better Run. It's just got a great feel to it. And it's very, it's, you know, I've seen you perform live, and it's just, it's, so your it's right up your alley. I mean, the song is definitely Kevin Richardson and Cutting Edge. It's it's got its oh, own yeah. unique feel to it. And um, but yet I love the fact that it's you know it's infused with that traditional bluegrass sound. You know, but it's modern oh, and yeah. it's contemporary. And I love the fact that you've kind of blended the two worlds because I tell you, contemporary bluegrass is really kind of all the rage right now. And and people, right. especially like my kids' generation, they are really digging it. And it's a great appeal. Um, you know, bluegrass has always kind of had that appeal to young and old alike, but there's something about the sound right now that is, I think, drawing in a much younger audience, which I think is awesome because that is such a great alternative. You having kids like myself, it's such a great alternative to some other genres of music that they could be listening to, in my opinion. Yeah. So, um, you right. know, the more the more the music can be made in this genre to appeal to that, I'm say all for it, you know, go for it because um, oh, yeah, it's some absolutely. good stuff. It doesn't get any better in bluegrass music. And the fact that the musicianship and the talent is just unsurpassed. You can't you can't fake bluegrass. You either got it or you don't. You know, it's not right. like <laughs> you know, it's not right. like what we saw at the Grammys last night where you get up on stage and you know it's just a production show and behind the scenes right. it's being tweaked to no end. But bluegrass, you can't fool an audience with bluegrass music. It is real. And that's what I oh, love yeah. about it. And yes. uh, well, what you've been on a cruise so far this year? I mean, so I mean, we're not even at the end of January. You've already been on a cruise. You're working on new music. What else is coming up for Kevin Richardson and Cutting Edge this year? Uh, well, you know, uh, we're uh, we're working on that new record. Hopefully, going to have it out by March or April. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, we've got we've probably got let's see, probably six or seven dates between there and then. Uh, I've got it all up on the website and everything like that. Uh, we're still taking the bookings. I mean, it's been, I ain't going to lie to you, it's its a hard business, and mm-hmm. and we're still trying uh, to get in there with some people, but uh, we we love what we're doing. We're just so happy just to have uh, uh, just a little part of it, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, But we're still booking, and uh, we're looking to do, uh, we had a good year last year. And this year, uh, we're just hoping for a little better. And 
We'll just see what the good Lord has to hope for. Yeah, well, I tell you, with the um, with the success on your side, Kevin, that you've you've had thus far, I mean, and now the success that your band has seen already, you know, just hang in there because it's just a matter of time, my friend. I don't think, you know, it's going to be too much longer, and, and you will be, oh, my gosh, you'll be in so much demand, you'll probably have to turn down gigs, you know. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, so that would you know, be a good th- thing. Uh, yeah, that's always a great problem to have, right? I mean, you you don't ever right. want to have to turn down any gig, but you know, it, if you do, you know that things are going really well, you know. Oh, yeah. But uh, oh, yeah. but nonetheless, Absolutely. no matter what you put out, just be sure and send it our way. We will be happy to play it, promote it here on our station, and and get the word out and let the listeners hear it um, as often as possible. Just because it's great stuff and it needs to be heard. So anything we can do to help you, we're glad to do so. Oh, well, thank you. We appreciate that a whole bunch. Well, you're so welcome. Well, look forward to the new stuff coming out and want to wish you the best of success in 2014 and beyond. And uh, and look forward to speaking with you again in the very near future on all the great things you'll have going. All right. That sounds good. And if y'all need anything from us, uh, just holler back at us. All right. Great, Kevin. Well, thank you. Give our best to Crystal, and we will talk with you again very soon. All right, y'all be good. I appreciate it. All right, have a great evening. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, we've been speaking with Kevin Richardson from Kevin Richardson and Cutting Edge. And uh, let me give you a little bit of background. Um, well, a couple places where you can find them. You can go to Facebook, and they are at Kevin Richardson and Cutting Edge. Go look them up and like their Facebook page. And uh, there you can stay up on all the stuff that they have going on um, when it happens, before it happens, and especially with the new music coming out. If you're a fan, you're going to want to, you know, be in the know. So definitely do that. You can also visit their um, website, Kevin Richardson dash cutting edge dot com. And um, there you'll be able to, you know, find out all the it's chock full of information. It has music on the site and a little bit of everything. So um, please go check it out. And we want to say a huge thank you to Kevin for being our special guest this evening and many, many thanks to all of you as well for being with us. We greatly appreciate it. And if you're it's your first time here, welcome aboard. Welcome to the Bluegrass Planet family. We're so glad to have you with us and hope that you will not be a stranger. And so with that, that is actually going to wrap our show for this evening, folks. Again, many thanks to Kevin Richardson from Kevin Richardson and Cutting Edge and to all of you for joining us. And we will be off the next few nights. We will be back here again next week and hope to see you back at the same time next Monday. Take care, all. Have a great evening. God bless and good night. You've been listening to Bluegrass Planet Radio. Find us on the web at bluegrassplanetradio.com, on Twitter at Bluegrass Planet, and on Facebook at Bluegrass Planet Radio. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.